Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Centers. Guys, I'm literally about to show you the Mercedes Benz of Class C motorhomes. Uh, guys, this is a motorhome you can't buy new. Uh, right now, nobody has these in stock with the Mercedes chassis. Mercedes Benz can't build these chassis because they're having a hard time getting the chips, the computer chips, to build them. Right now, if you want to buy one of these brand new, there is a 12 to 18 month wait from the time you order them till they're built. And there's no guarantee they'll be ready by then. And new, with the cost, Mercedes Benz cost skyrocketing in the past 18 months due to the pandemic, you're going to spend 150 grand on one of these brand new guys and wait 12 to 18 months to spend that kind of money. Guys, you don't have to wait 12 to 18 months. I've got one today, and I know this may be out of a lot of people's price range. You're probably thinking, Big Bow 89.9 for a used Class C, but guys, try to find another one and then look at a brand new one and look how long it takes to get one of those and the cost of that. When you consider all that consideration, this thing's a bargain. Now, I got to do uh, one thing to it, and I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video on this because it's going to spend about a week getting this stuff off. On the front of this thing, it came with the diamond shield on the front. And this is like a, uh, a protectant that goes over the hood, goes over this right here. I am having all of this, it's gonna cost me about $1,500, $1,600. I'm having all of this stuff removed where it, the paint and everything is looks all the same. That's the only flaw in this entire motorhome, guys. And I'm having all that replaced, but it's gonna be about a week at the body shop. So I want to go ahead and shoot this so, cause it won't be on the lot while it's gone getting that done. And my gosh, guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful motor home. And we're gonna drive it later in the video. This is a 2018 Forest River Sunseeker 2400 WS. Short mini class C. It's under 25 feet long, 24 feet 11 inches. Has the Mercedes Benz 3 liter V6 turbo diesel, 188 horsepower, 325 pound feet of torque. Doesn't sound like a lot, but this small lightweight motorhome, that is a lot of power. And we'll, I'll show you when we drive it. Got a 4,200 pound tow capacity. It is one of the cleanest burning diesels you can get one of the quietest diesels on the market. And um, also guys, one of the most, as far as size for the fuel economy, this is one of the most fuel uh, economical motorhomes you can buy for fuel mileage. 16 miles a gallon seems to be the standard norm in a 25 foot class C guys. You, you know, you'd be hard pressed to find a diesel or a, try to find a class b camper van that gets that kind of mileage and of course guys the mercedes benz and the class b camper vans cost more than the class c's so go figure <laughs> got the dually rear end of course got a 3600 propane onan generator running right now has 300 hours on it Twenty-five thousand on the motorhome or 20 almost twenty-six thousand. beautiful multi-stage full body paint fiberglass roof it has the full wall slide guys you're not going to find a mini 20 under 25 foot motorhomes with a full wall slide but here it is of course got the aerodynamic front end you know you can technically call this a class c or a b plus you know i got out of that argument i just call it a 2018 Sunseeker MBS. You can call it a B plus, you can call it a class C, it don't matter to me. You know, some people say because it doesn't have a cab over, it's not a class C. I get it. So whatever you want to call it, guys, you, you can consider it a B plus or a C. Whatever you want to call it is absolutely fine with me. Got the Hellwig Sway Control, which helps stabilize this thing going down the road. Of course, this is a Mercedes Benz. So you've got independent front suspension. You've got four wheel ABS. You've got anti-roll technology. I mean, this is the very best in safety equipment that you can buy in a motorhome chassis. You've got an outside Fury and tip television. It is set up for the ZAMP uh, Solar Ready. 
It's got a six gallon DSI water heater, a furnace. Got said power awning with LED light strips. 4,200 pound tow capacity, because unlike the Ford Transit, which can only tow 2,000, this thing right here can actually tow a small vehicle behind you, if you have a need for it. Uh, LED outside uh, lights, tail lights, all that good stuff. Frameless windows in the back. And the sides. A lot of storage in this one too for a small Class C. Now, I'm not gonna open every single one of these, but You know, this is a fine RV, guys. It really is. And believe me, these things used with more miles are bringing six figures. That one's locked on the used market right now in 18. Of course, that's condensation. I've got the AC on. Dash air's nice and ice cold. Uh, 25,959 on the clock. No check engine lights, no warning lights, just, just ice cold air got the backup camera built into the monitor you got the swivel seats in the front does have the booster seat so if you're really short uh there are factory booster seats that sit down right here and you can set on to uh which <laughs> i don't know why they included those but I, I guess for certain people who are a little shorter make it a little bit more comfortable for you to drive or taller i guess um yeah this is nice guys and that full wall slide for this size motor home just, just makes it massive on the inside. Windshield looks great, of course. Let's look inside on the side entry door here. Generator, super quiet. Power step. We step inside. I'm definitely going to shut this door. Because I'm going to tell you guys, between that 15,000 BTU roof air on the top and this dash air, even though I've just had this thing on, 30 or 40 minutes it's absolutely 10 times cooler in here than the outside look at this open concept with that full wall slide perfect couples motor home but it can sleep up to four because you have a table booth that actually makes a bed two adults can sleep in um, you do have overhead storage with a large TV. Storage back here, finished out cabinets. Front cab, of course. You've got removable carpet or a, a, basically a mat. <laughs> so if you want the uh, rubber carpet or the rubber floor, it's right underneath that carpet. You just take it out. This table is removable. These seats do swivel. Um, uh, that's the only carpet in here, guys. Very easy to keep clean. Um, three burner stove top, nice deep basin sink, some books and stuff I found in here I left in there, microwave, magic chef microwave, convection oven, doesn't look like it's ever been used, stove top, look at this stove top guys, I'm going to tell you, the previous owners obviously, I don't think ever lit this got a nor cold refrigerator freezer which i've only had on for a little bit but we guarantee it to work and we also uh and believe me guys hot as it is right now if the air conditioner wasn't blowing cold i wouldn't be out here right now it's that hot i did a travel trailer earlier with my camera and it actually overheated i had to cut my camera off and cool it down um queen bed in the back now when i bring the slide out in you do have to fold this bed over to bring the room in. You've got a TV on the wall. So you got three TVs in here total. Um, this right here, of course, is your uh, all-in-one. This is your furnace and your AC control right here. This right here has got your booster seats. Big, deep closet, too. This right here is, what is that? Oh, that's just a, that's a uh, runner for the floor, a carpet runner. That's your booster seats. If you want to set up a little bit in the seat. Uh, big booth. Man, that's nice. Um, let's look at the bathroom here. And for 25 foot or 2411 motorhome, this is pretty nice. 
that's your uh, water filter wrench you got filtered water which i'm not a big fan of drinking out of these anyway um but out of your tank anyway i always carry drinking water but you know i suppose you swing it out enough and sterilize it enough it's so i'm sure it's safe to drink but i'm kind of funny about my water so um big closet look here and guys I'm, I'm a big guy i'm 300 plus pounds and i can get in here and function just fine i do like the uh the shower cover in here and you can see the skylight actually cooling off pretty good in here got plenty of hooks in here uh, a little sink area vanity area get your gfi plug in in here medicine cabinet towel rack on the back of the door and then of course you do have a privacy curtain going if you want to separate let's just say you got another couple staying with you you do have a privacy curtain right here that you can put across and latch in right there and you can completely uh, shut off your bedroom area and then of course you have uh, a lot of neat features in here guys there's all your remotes and everything uh, stereos everything's here guys this is a nice unit anyway incredible fuel mileage i'm gonna bring the room in here shortly show you what it looks like with the slide out in and if i can get one of my salespeople, maybe shane or one of them to ride down the road with me we'll definitely take a test drive in it because this is a nice rig and i actually want to drive this one so <laughs> um, i enjoy driving these when i can all the led lights i like the skylight in here so even if you're boondock camping and conserving battery power you still have uh, lots of natural light coming in here uh, got usb chargers right over there furnace i mean everything you need nothing you don't guys i mean this is and plus you've got that mercedes-benz chassis and the quality and the fuel mileage the longevity you know this this chassis was designed with a 500,000 mile practical service life in other words They'll go longer than 500,000 miles if you take care of them, but then it then it kind of crosses the line between practical and impractical. So, um, and then 10,000 mile increments between service. Um, not bad, guys. Really not. Anyway, this unit is 89.9. Um like i said not for everybody's budget i get it just because now keep in mind guys just because it's out of your budget out of your price range doesn't mean it's priced too high as a matter of fact you get online guys i've got one of the very few that you can buy in these used for under 100 grand uh, and, and you can't buy a new one right now like i said it is a 12 to 18 month or longer wait period to buy one of these brand new and, and then the price just keeps shooting up and up every single day with material costs going up you're going to by the time it, you're new by the time you order a new one it gets built it's going to be right around 150 grand nobody has these in stock new so if you want one you don't want to wait up to two years to get your new one and spend another 60 70 grand this is your only chance right now dealers are taking orders for 2023 models and we're still it's barely halfway through 2021 guys if that's not sad i don't know what is in this industry but that's that's the name of the game right now you know people and this is and, and i've said this before guys but the reason why used rvs are are such short supply and high demand which of course drives wholesale and retail prices through the roof is because majority of buyers that would normally buy new are forced to buy used and there's no used rv factory you know any given time date and time in the united states there's only so many used rvs available for sale and you've got more people buying used than ever because you can't buy new ones 
you know, that number just dwindles and dwindles and dwindles. And, and, and I'm having a hard time finding inventory, guys. You know, we've been very lucky. Um, you know, some of our, we, we've had to dig up some old contacts, guys. You know, we've been in business 53 years, and we've got a lot of contacts all over the country to get what we have. And, um, I mean, I was, even on my vacation, I was going out. I bought, I bought RVs on my vacation. I was down in Florida, and I went and bought some because guys you can't you can't get them for sale by owners uh, i mean we're going unconventional as can be just to buy inventory to put on our lot because the way we were going guys it, it was going to get bad um now we've actually got our inventory slowly but surely building back up we're up to about 75 units um so you know we've got the inventory we've probably got more used inventory than anybody and I've got something for, you know, I did a motor home the other day for 17, nine people were fighting over uh, that's already sold. You know, I, I carry something for everybody's budget, which means low end and the higher end of the price spectrum. 89.9, but by, you know, folks, when you compare it to a new one and other 18 models on the internet today, the, the Sunseeker MBS series with a full wall slide, this thing's a bargain. No fees. You know, we're not like other dealers that'll advertise the same motor home for a hundred grand plus, charge you four or five thousand dollars in dock fees and prep fees and processing fees and happy camper fees and dock fee and freight fees and all that nonsense, guys. It is eighty nine nine. We do guarantee, which this unit I've already checked it out, guys. Refrigerators, freezer starting to get cold, uh roof air works generator works it's, it's ready to go guys you can come out and check whatever other additional systems you want but it's ready to go so you can pay for it take it home the same day if you want to um so there you don't have to wait 30 to 60 days for a full rv inspection like you did when we had our four page checkout which we will be going back to that in a few weeks of course our prices will go up too to cover the cost of those services but right now guys great time to buy i mean you, if you're wanting one of these and you're frustrated because every dealer you call says they're out of stock, get a special order, out of stock, special order, you don't have to here. Even though it's a couple of years old, to me that just means the bugs will work out of it. Because right now, what everybody's telling me, the 21s and 22 models, because all the manufacturers are using temp help and uh, new help because they have a labor shortage just like we do and everybody else in business right now, the quality has really gone downhill. Um, the last couple of new ones that we had come in, guys, we spent a week repairing all the factory defects before we even put them up for sale. I mean, guys, y'all won't believe um, the factory defects that we had to correct. And of course, you know, the manufacturer pays us to do that. And, you know, any new RV, there's going to be defects. That's why you have those warranties. Matter of fact, the average new RV goes in during the year or two year warranty period goes in for uh, for dealer warranty repair two to three times. So new is not perfect. Good thing about this one is somebody's already put almost 26,000 miles on it. Chances are they worked out the bugs. <laughs> Especially considering that they probably back then spent $130,000, $35,000 on this thing brand new. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Really appreciate it. If this is something you think you're interested in, pick up the phone, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Uh, we do take trades. We do have some great financing available for uh, well-qualified customers and uh, with approved credit down payment, of course. We do have nationwide delivery, so contact us for a quote on that. We do take trade-ins. Call us about your trade, 706-965-7929. Call for faster service, please, but you are welcome to email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com if you wish to but always if it's something like this that's unusual that's a good buy, good buy for what it is i do recommend calling instead of emailing during business hours business hours here are monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time saturday 9 to 5 eastern we are closed of course on sunday for the lord's day and family day for our employees you know, right now, guys, we're so short-staffed. Everybody here is working pretty much a six-day work week uh, because of all the bums that are quit and living off unemployment, and not working. About like everybody else in the country right now. So keep that in mind. Um, 
but uh, you know if this is something you think you're interested in call make sure it's here before coming down to look um, we do have online credit applications if you want to try to get the credit process started uh, you know if you are uh, uh, you know just make sure and guys I had not said this in a while when you fill out your credit application make sure everything is actually is, is, is fully correct before submitting it um, and keep in mind too guys especially on the income line if you are self-employed the banks will require two years worth of complete tax returns there your your income is line 37 on your 1040 whatever what number is on your line 37 on your 1040 if you're self-employed is the what the bank considers your yearly income so keep that in mind for those of you who may fudge a little bit on your taxes that, that can hurt you a little bit um, in that circumstance so anyway um, I just say that because we had that happen to a customer this morning who grossly misrepresented their income <laughs> so um, which can get them in trouble by the way um, but anyway thank y'all for watching I really appreciate it guys and Hang tight. I'm going to bring this room in. I'll try to shoot a quick clip with the room in and then get somebody loaded up. We'll take it down the road. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Share on social media. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, hit the bell notification button because I try to post videos every day. And right now, trying to do more than one a day. It's been tough, but... I'm getting it. I got a lot of inventory I've got coming in that, that just came in that I'll be highlighting over the next few days if they don't sell beforehand. And guys, little tip, if you don't see what you're looking for on our website, parkwayrbcenter.com, still call in, get a salesperson's name, talk to them, tell them what you're looking for. It may already be here and I just haven't posted it online yet or it might be coming in directly. So hang tight, guys. Let's bring this room in, and I will be right back. All right, everybody. Got the room in, and the slide-out procedure is very, very simple. Parking brake on, engine off. Go back here, your switch. And you can see, guys, you still have full access to the RV, mostly, to everything but the bed. And your switch is right here. Or right here, excuse me. Bring it all the way in, and this, and I, and I made a mistake on this bed, guys. You know, with the, uh, I'm used to the ones that you actually have to physically fold the bed over. This slide out does it itself. It slides, the mattress breaks apart in two pieces and it slides the top part over the bottom. So you don't have to do any kind of physical labor to adjust this bed. Um, and you can see, guys, you can't sleep in the bed, but you still got access to your bathroom, your closets. Uh, you can always make your table booth bed out if you want to. You know, if you didn't, if you were parked somewhere and you couldn't put your slide out for whatever reason, you still have a bed in here to sleep in. So anyway, guys, hang tight. Let me get somebody. Let me get somebody to ride with me. We'll take her for a spin. All right, everybody. Now we're going to test drive this uh, 2018 Sunseeker on the Mercedes chassis. And as always, it's always a treat to drive one of these little quiet diesels. I've got Joe helping me out today. He's one of my salespeople. So if you have any questions, feel free to call or text Joe anytime. And Joe, what's your phone number? 423-702-1310. And he's actually pretty familiar with these motorhomes. So he'd be glad to help you out and answer any questions. And uh, we'll take her up the road. And it's just 188 horsepower, but 325 pound-feet of torque is huge on a motorhome this size. And, uh, of course, we get started this. Boy, this thing got some good get up and go. Dash air is nice and cold. Uh, these independent front suspensions just have a great ride and drive to it. And this is a lot, this is a little bit narrower than a than a, just a standard Class C. It's uh, a little over seven foot wide instead of eight and a half like a lot of them are so gives you a little bit better maneuverability and torque is where your power come from there's not as much as horsepower i mean we're, we're taking off and keeping up with traffic without even going to the floor
And these Mercedes Benz chassis steer so good. I mean, you hardly ever have to have two hands on the wheel. And we're doing the best we can going up this hill with this truck in front of us, but I have no doubt that this thing would hit 55 going up this hill without even trying, if you can. So far, so good. I mean, it feels good, shifts good. Squeaks and rattles aren't too bad. I mean, compared to like a Ford or a Chevrolet Class C, it's actually a lot smoother. It definitely got more power as far as torque compared to one of those, even though. They may have more horsepower, but they're a bigger unit, too. I mean, guys, this is under 25 feet, so, you know, you, you drive an F-150 pickup truck, that's almost 21 feet long right there. Boy, that truck's getting up and going. Um, 50, 55. I like to do the 60 mile an hour test on this ramp. Actually, hitting we're hitting the interstate close to 65. So uh, yeah, this is nice, guys. And of course, cruise control. We'll give that a shot. And oh, that's nice. It's got a digital display for your cruise control to let you know what speed it's set for. That's a nice little touch. And of course, it works fine. Guys, I'm not having any issues. I'm not getting blown around the road. Um, I like it. I really do. Anyway, guys, if this is something you think you're interested in, give us a call. And, Joe, what's your cell phone number again? It's 423-702-1310. And you can call, text him. He'll answer any questions about it, guys. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, feel free to comment, share on social media. And thank y'all again for watching. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.